didn't you already film this video and not upload it? That would be correct. I did that. I filmed it on my DSLR. I'm Ray. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I'm, that's always the thing, isn't it? And we got lots to cover. Brushes. Um, I forget sometimes that the things that I've learned along the way aren't just a given. I mean, my mom gave me a canvas and a paintbrush and some acrylics and taught me to paint, like taught me, I, like we did some mountains, sunset, she, she used to paint with oils. And she, I remember her being really excited about acrylics, here's my brain going. Yeah, she was like, they try so quick and all this stuff. So that's why, why, why I do acrylics, I just learned that way. That was in like elementary school, my grade one. Um, and actually like, I think it was just because it was a really good experience because she showed me probably very simple things. But I mean, I was like, I made that like, because it looked good and just walked me through it. So, I mean, I was an artist before that. I don't remember ever not trying to create or imagine or whatever, but that's when I did the acrylics. Where did that come from? Oh yeah, that's why maybe I know everything and not everyone else does. <laughs> I'm kidding. I took a break from acrylics for a while. Acrylics, for, yeah, um, for art, like painting, because of that thinking and I um I actually to get myself into it because I was asked to do a paint night um and I had to lead it so I started watching YouTube tutorials to see how to teach to, how to do that step by step thing and um as I'm watching I'm learning new stuff like little things that probably maybe it's just beginner stuff and I just am like oh I didn't realize that oh that's cool and so you know what I'm gonna say that these next slew of videos are for beginners but I'm not gonna say that it's not for people who know stuff, or don't know stuff, or know some stuff. Am I digging myself in a hole, or is this just... Nah. Um, so, that's my plan, is I'm gonna go over some stuff, and maybe some stuff you're like, yeah, and maybe some stuff you're like, oh my goodness, I needed that. Because there are some things that I remember, like, when I think about painting and oils, I feel very, like, just the simplest stuff. I have so many questions, and you know what, when I have time, I'm going to learn, I'm going to, and that's another time. These will be mainly focused with, like, acrylics, because that's what I use with the stuff that I go through for, because I'm going to make a whole series of these videos of just getting started, like, right from the beginning, different things basic stuff, not basic stuff, I don't know. Watch it. See if you learn something new. Anyways, now that I've sold this to you <laughs> and you're gonna watch it all, let's get started. Okay, so um, brushes. Brushes, duh. and they're all in Michael's down that aisle, right? And they're all like bulk or packs and all sorts and it's overwhelming. It's like, oh my goodness. And like, what do you start with? There's no right answer. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to start with something and you want to you want to eventually make your way to finding your brushes. Like what works for you? What is your thing? So I'm gonna help you with that. There are endless shapes, sizes, um, handle links, brands, prices, flavors. There are a lot of brushes. I always will say go to your, lo your local art store if at all possible if you have one before going to a big chain store. Um, it if you have the means it might be a bit more expensive. Probably not though. And they actually usually have like the same kind of things sometimes just a bit better and then they might be more knowledgeable too and then you're supporting local. Um, and if you're like on a real, real budget, just go to the dollar store and grab some. Like it might not be the best, but honestly, for like years when I was saving all my good stuff, I just paint with dollar store brushes and my fingers. There's really no right way to make art, just the wrong way, which would be to not do anything. That's my quote. I better see a picture or a meme of that. coming up soon. Okay, you might think I'm going crazy, but I actually have just filmed some videos and painted all night, and so yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's okay, let me get this right. 
Um, okay, so where to start to get your first like set of brushes? What do you get? Um, honestly, I don't know if they have them anymore. Um, they're on a budget and I made a painting that was fun for the whole family. And um, I did it all with these kids' IKEA brushes. I'm actually quite impressed by these brushes. I um, my only complaint, IKEA, just lengthen the head a little bit. So I feel. Anyways, um, they have a variety pack. They did at least. I have not been there for a little while, just because I would like to save some money, and I cannot leave that store without. I just wash this because we're time traveling and things happen in a weird order. Like here's all the brush, brush strokes we're doing with the brushes. Okay, so there's like a pack like this. I hope they still have them. And um, if you don't know where to start, honestly, buy these, paint some stuff. You'll find out what you use, what you like, what strokes, what things, you know, different strokes for different folks. Like, yeah. Um, and yes, I am sponsored by them. <laughs> I'm being ridiculous, guys. No, I'm obviously not sponsored. Not even freaking sponsored. But one day. Okay. Um, so let's go over then. Um, if you're not getting the IKEA brush, you're in Michael's. Um, all the different sorts of brush types. So um they always go from like the, like you'll say like level one, level two, level three, they'll go from the least expensive to the most expensive. Um, I found that the best brushes for the lowest cost are these Simply, blah, 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 Simply Simmons. The problem is, maybe not a problem because I've actually done full paintings with these. I wish I had to wash it. Okay, this is, um, this is what you call a flat. I'm double checking. I keep getting flat and uh, bright mixed up even though I should know this and I, and I do sit and question myself okay so um uh flat is going to have longer bristles I'm not going to go over the whole like anatomy of a brush I don't think you need to know all the terms we'll call this the brushy part this is the holdy part this is the clampy between the brushy and the holdy part Okay, so um, yeah, they're a good price to start. You can grab a few different, they have a variety. The only complaint I have, because it's a personal preference, is I like to be able to have a firmer brush. Even this one is a little bit firmer, but I'm still not a fan, it's still a, still a flat. Um, the bristles are softer, so I like to have a brush that's like firm that I can almost like scoop up my paint like a, like a, like I have a spoon or something. Michaels does not carry those. Um, like not these, they have these and you might be okay with it. It's very soft. It's like a makeup brush almost like it's very fluffy. It's like maybe if you're doing watercolor, um, I have painted acrylic paintings with it. Um, I just have, um, settled into my comfort zone. Um, so like here is, this isn't the same, this is a one inch. So the, the measurement will be how wide it is here. So. Um, those are one inch. This is three quarter inch, so pretty much the same. But this is a bright, and you can see the bristle length is just a bit shorter, but it is just enough to really give you some nice firm um, strokes. And it's personally what I like. Not necessarily this brush. Um, it's a good brush. I use it, but um, I'll get into what brushes I've settled into. Um, also, you'll notice the handle length. That's another thing. Uh, I believe that the handle length is for people when they want to paint way back here and look way up here. And I don't do that, but personally, I do like the longer handle because I do feel more relaxed. Maybe that's another thing. I think these go flying out of my hands. Um, when I used to do like smaller, try to like do detail stuff that made me crazy. Yeah, it's maybe I'd use the shorter ones, but yeah, so longer handle. So these are a good priced brush too. These are also the Simply Simmons. If you have them at your art store or go online, um, they are they they are a very good brush for good cost. So I'm gonna say from what I know and my experience, they're the best. Brush 
for the best amount of money. Something like that. What makes a bad brush? Well, um, bristles falling home. You eventually just have a bristle painting and a brush that has no bristly top. Not very. Um, some other things that are um, a little bit of a pet peeve of mine when it comes to brushes. I'll get back into the shapes, okay? We're just, I'm just rolling with it. That's how I'm going to do it now because when I tried fighting it, it was not working. Okay, another pet peeve of mine. This is a beautiful brush. I started to absolutely love these brushes. These are Blue Ice by Dynasty. They were like, they're, they're blue and black and sexy and yes, they have short handles, but still, and even the bristles and everything. But you can see right here, I don't leave my brushes in water that long, but it it didn't take long. It was like within the week, the paint started coming off um, or the plastic coating. And then it it gets in my fingers and, and I've taped up some of them, but it's just, for the price there are, and I'm not doing reviews here, but I'm just, it's just not worth it, okay? Like if that, that does happen, I have some of these, they have the plastic cord has come off, but I'm willing to compromise a bit because they were like four bucks or something. I don't know exactly what they were, may less. Um, this is actually a pretty cool brush though. It has, um, Holes, it's like shears cut it. I think I got it and I was like, what the heck am I gonna do with that? You always find something. I can never cut the, catch the short ones. There we go. Okay, um, so yes, so bristles falling out, the handle, and then, okay. You're not technically supposed to do this with brushes, but <sighs> that also shouldn't happen. Um, and I'm not trying to bad talk these guys because I got some good brushes from them. I don't, I'm not giving you reviews. I'm just going to tell you, save your money. Don't get these. <laughs> um, uh, that's the other thing. The glue that holds this together. It's, um, there are few brands that it just does not seem to. And really guys, I am, I, I've showed you my process and I'll show you again, but I like to dry off my brushes and then let them sit while I paint, like even while I'm painting. So... I mean, yes, they sit in water, but still, I don't expect this to happen. That's that's another thing that would make a lousy brush, but also make a lousy brush with fewer bristles. A lot of the cheaper brushes will have less, be less dense. You want nice, you want to hold the paint, okay? So let's get the types of brushes. Just for example, I think this is like a dollar store brush. It works fine, but it has like five bristles in here. There's more than five, but it's yeah. Okay, so they're synthetic and natural, and natural. Troll is going to come from some sort of animal, um, and I think like a boar or is this like sable. It's really soft. Sorry to all you vegans, but most of my brushes are synthetic. I think I actually don't look. I I honestly I go to the store, and stores hate it when you smush them apart. But I can't tell if I like a brush or I'm going to use it. Like I'm sorry, store either leave out a sample or. Um, expect that I'm going to break your brush apart because I brought some home thinking they're firm. So yeah, you need to give it a good bend and make sure. Just be respectful as you do it. I mean, don't like... I'm never going to be allowed in art stores again. Um, okay, so... Different brushes. So we went flats, brights. Okay. Um, this is a filbert, I believe. It is got a little, I feel like a beauty guru. I'm using the MAC something something 500 and blending brush. It's a filbert. It is black steel. I like these. These became my next favorite. I'll tell you about them after. Okay. Um, so, um, so this I don't use this one that often, but you know what, if I'm doing like some round shapes, like sometimes I'm doing like filling in the nose, I really don't use it that often. I used to a bit more when I was just kind of making patterns and abstract, not, not a ton though. But again, this is what you, see this is why you get, you get a, a lower cost one, and this is just simply Simmons, and um, and you try it out, you see, if you, you might use it a lot. I think it's good for circles and flowers and clouds, probably lots of things. I'm I I'm just I'm a fan of the square ones. We'll talk about that. After. Okay, um, here these are round brushes. 
they come again all the brushes come in different sizes they'll, they'll say like they just have a number it's a four this is a 14 anyways depending on the size depending on the brand this is just an artist lock one actually i kind of like it it might not be made that well but it's i also don't use round brushes that often but and I think there's a difference between a round brush and then a round like pointy tip. It's good for detailing and things like that. Good for you can go wide strokes, like if you press harder and then lighten up into light strokes. Like hey, okay, angled brushes, which like, I mean I could tell you what they'll do, but I mean you're you get it and then you figure it out. <laughs> it's this one I like for detailing. Um little details and eyes and things like that. I don't always do a lot of that. Um, and sometimes I just like the loose strokes with the big brushes right now. They make good like lines. There's another one, it's softer. Okay, um, moving along. So then there's oil brushes, which usually are more, look more like this, where they're like rougher and scratchier. They're not exclusive to oil painters. I use them all the time. I use them for blending, for scrubbing, for dry brushing. Um, some brushes will say for oil or acrylics. Um, the only ones I don't really find useful are watercolor brushes, but you might. So there's some difference. So this is a round, I think, or no, this is a flat, sorry. This is, again, I think it's a bright or a flat. It's a bright, Ooh, okay. Anyway, so you got it. There's different kinds, they have different names. Grab a handle, grab a flat, grab a bright, grab a... Okay, um, think about this. What size canvas are you doing? What are you painting on it? If you're painting on a big canvas and you're doing clouds and, and big strokes and abstract, you're probably going to want like a bigger brush. This is a beautiful brush. I don't even use this pick of a brush and I paint pretty big. Maybe I should start, but I don't. Um, so... That's what you gotta think of. If you're doing small, detailing stuff, you're gonna want some smaller brushes. If you want um, to use really heavy body acrylics, you're gonna want some really like stiffer brushes. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get something close into like golden or liquid X heavy, heavy bodies. So that kind of goes over the types. Um, yeah, the quality, like I said, it's gonna have differences, but just because you're paying more for it doesn't always mean like these, those, these, those, 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 these weren't cheap. I don't remember how much they were, but they weren't cheap. I thought they were worth it because I couldn't get the size in the Simply Simmons that I wanted anymore. And so these, the brushes are great on them. I need a replacement handle for them, see? I just stopped because my finger hurt. Anyways, so it doesn't always mean you're gonna get a better quality, but that's the things that you hope for as your brushes get, like you get, you got some good bristles happening, that's got a good clamp in between thing, that's clamping the bristles in so they're not falling out, that kind of stuff. Some of my hair brushes are from a hardware. I like how I do this. I'm such a beauty girl. Can you see it? I can't even tell you. You know, it's hit and miss. I have ones that I'm like, eh, about. I have ones and I'm like, yeah, about. Some that I got out of town, like, I don't even know. It was just some little small town hardware store that I got years ago. I or maybe some of my favorite ones. I don't even know what they are. But, yeah. So, it's hit and miss. It's good for doing backgrounds and washes and things like that. And they're a good price. Because, I mean, if I get one this size... This is just from Michaels, and I think it was like twenty something dollars, which I guess isn't that bad for that size. But so, or maybe that was with the coupon. I don't know. I don't remember. But I know that the other ones I have that are big were a lot more. Um. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly tell you which ones. I think I basically. You can always ask me questions if I missed anything. I've done this video like this many times. That's the official count on it. Um, so my favorite brushes, what I use and stock up on, um, they range between 30 to 50 bucks, maybe 25 before taxes, Canadian dollars. So, and I don't really know 
I, I kind of bought them from my local art store, so, but they are your local art store, I don't know. Um, hmm. So, I'm going to tell you what they are, and I always paint, okay, well, recently I started painting a bit smaller, but I always paint on 3x4 or larger, and I don't know why I don't go to the bigger brushes, but I always use a 1 inch, let will start with these ones, 1 inch, um, right? Repeat with me now, class. This is a bright. This is a flat. Okay. Okay, this is Black Steel by Dynasty. And I think I originally got one of these in a prize package or sort of thing, and, or a few of them. And I kind of fell in love. And they, you know, they, they could take a beating. This one might have been one of my first ones, you can see. And so I fell in love, and so I started buying them like crazy. Um, only problem is, is a few things that this, some of them the plastics are to come off or the plastic coating, I don't know what it's actually called, um, but anyways, and they really got kind of worn out, like, they lasted a bit more, but worn out a bit more. I mean, my brushes take a beating, I can't complain. I love these, and if there was no other brush out there, these, these were good for me. They're the one inch, half inch. I think it's half inch, three quarter inch, yeah. Um, black steel by Dynasty. Um, okay. I then I think that this my art store was out of them, or maybe I just um, decided to grab another one. Um, they were more expensive. They looked the exact same, but I was like, yeah, I'll try one. Um, I think they're only like five to seven dollars more. I don't know, which is still a lot but this is catalyst by princeton polytip bristle right um if you want the name of it let me know and i'll send it to you anyways i'll stick to these now this is like i still i have um quite a few you can see they've this one might be a year old on this side um how do i focus in on this they seem to, well, first of all, I think they must, if they're not solid wood, whatever they have on those for these is pretty good. I haven't had one piece flake off, come off, or anything. This thing has never gotten wiggly. And these have never come out. Not only that, but I feel like when they clean, like, they clean nicer. I don't know if that makes sense. It's almost like the bristles, the paint comes off a bit nicer. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm a fan. I um oh I mean that's why this is a flat I never knew that this one is the big one um there's the baby one that makes sense no that might be why I've never used it I'm not a big fan of the big long bristles okay so yeah this um this catalyst by um Princeton they're expensive for me it's worth it I paint a lot though and um my brushes yeah like I said take a beaning so I I mean I could be using these ones but I'd probably be buying just a billion more of them. So, yeah. I mean, I use them all too, but honestly, like, probably going through my paintings, there's probably, like, 96.78% of it is done with this brush. Well, and this one, which is a little bit smaller. And then the... The rest, I might, I might get out like a detail or a finer tip or something like that. So, yeah. I hope I went through it all because I did this video so many damn times. Like, these are really good too. These are really good for detailing and fun. I, you know what? I don't use these brushes as much as I used to, but those are simply Simmons. They're just, they're just little tiny brights. Um, shader, chisel. Um, but yeah, you can really do some cool stuff with these, uh, detailing stuff if that's your thing. Also, Michael's, um, there's a brand called Zen, I believe. I haven't been there for a while, but they look like this. I have found that in their, um, acrylic slash oil brushes, there's been a few good ones. The only problem I've had with them, they look like this. So Simply Simmons are these ones. Um, the only problem I've had with only one of them is this round one. <laughs> There's my tape job. The wiggly top came off like right away. So yeah, I mean, I could probably glue it down. There's also all these itty bitty things. If I were here really into 
itty bitty things. A whole world of brushes now at your fingertips. I'm not even going to talk palette nice right now. And you know what? If something catches your eye and you're curious about it, just try it. A brush is not going to go to waste unless the bristles are falling out. And even in that case, just give it to your kid or something. <laughs> even like my old, ragged, whatever, used to the life out of it. I'll still use it. You know what? Sometimes you need that. I'll show you the most annoying thing right now with my brush is this one. I don't mind when they get raggedy, but I can't stand this. Like what causes this one to bend out this way? I, if you watch the next video, I show you how to wash them. I am very, um, anyways, I know there are videos out there how to fix that. So I just gotta, I just gotta watch those and do those. And then I'll tell you how it was done. It's not like I don't have five million of these. I really have a lot. This is also a very good one. No, I'm just getting excited about brushes. If you were in my studio sitting here, I'd be like, oh, I mean this and this and this, and then I'd probably grab my paints and get it out. And I, I would get very excited telling you about it. Um, this is Grey Matters. Again, it's getting this already happening, and it wasn't that cheap. It's meant, made for oil, but it's a really nice brush. Like, I use it for acrylics, and um, it's, it's a very... I don't know, it holds the paint very interesting. I really enjoy it. Okay, well guys, as you can see, I have like a billion brushes and I could probably individually tell you what I like and hate about each of them, but I'm not gonna do that. And this is name all that my drawers are drawers full and I'm a bit of a brush person. That's okay, because I paint. <laughs> Use your brushes. Use all of them. Have fun with them. If you accidentally ruin them then that's good that means you used it um i've accidentally ruined many brushes um, you can put them in isopropanol alcohol in a cup and if acrylic hardens that's the other thing i think i told me i told you this in the next video i don't remember anymore oh oh well. you heard it twice um isopropanol alcohol if it's um paint leave accidentally paint on it and usually you can revive it somewhat i think actually i did that with this one Anyways, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll leave it answer it in the video or in the comments. Um, if you have any ideas about what you'd like to see, I mean, I do have a few coming up already that are a surprise, but um, let me know in the comments. Also, if tell me what your um, favorite brushes are, if you have some. I'm learning still. Everyone's learning. Tell people <laughs> if, if it's a brand name, if it's shape, if it's what you found, like, oh, this works good for this. I want to hear about it. That'd be really cool. Um, yeah. And now since I'm doing this and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm not backing out. Not yet. I'm going to be consistent on every day of the week, which is going to be decided once this is released, uh, once a week. And so these like, comment and subscribe and they won't all be this long and some of them will be I think I said this maybe I didn't but I'm just like I'm not swimming up to anymore I'm like I'm just going with it for me talking that's all part of it so I'm like you're either gonna be like yeah that's cool or like no nah, it's not my thing it's kind of how things work same as my art and everything whatever but if you're like you're enjoying it and learning stuff it's awesome I really like the idea of being able to tell people some things to make it easier to get to that place because I like to learn the long and hard way of just trial and error and even if there is a tutorial I tend to lose my distraction like ah, I'll just figure it out. I hope I can help you along with that process. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you next week.